So we've got our six characters. Lofta Orgy, who is our fighter. Slippy Inya, who is a thief. A halfling, or excuse me, a gnome thief. Lucille Ball Crusher is our gnome cleric. Dees Guy Fux is our elf mage. Pablo Picasso is our uh, fighter thief combo. And Blank Blank Daughter is our uh, paladin. Any chance, Cedar, I'm not getting an extension? Oh, I thought you meant like a Twitch extension. Oh, like, an ex like extending it past? I don't know, man. Who knows? If I feel like it, I guess. Um, Lucy is, yeah, Sloopy, Lucy is a, Lucille is a dwarf. Slippy's a halfling, or a gnome. Deese is an elf. Problo is a halfling. Blank is a human. And uh, Lofta Orgy is a half elf. So I think we got one of each, if I'm not mistaken. Our tale begins here. I'm so used to such quiet. The quiet village of East Haven, one of the so-called ten towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a I'm table, getting like swapping a, tales. A Gandalf grand Carl plans Sagan for the mixed future. vibe completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. That's us. That's home. This pale blue dot. The only home we've ever known. <laughs> oh, I was going to replay it. this new phase in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? Um, greetings, Rothgar. My name is Lofta Orgy. Is that yeah, Peter Cummings? Yeah. Maybe it is. I don't know. Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small not, piece Peter. of advice. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best behavior. Okay. There's Jim Cummings and Peter... Uh, uh, Optimus Prime is, is Peter... Um, um, oh, why am I blanking on it now? Peter Cullen! Thank you. There's Cummings, Jim Cummings, Peter Cullen. That's why I was getting him mixed up. All right. So, yeah, it sounds like Jim Cummings for sure. Yeah. I can picture him clearly in my head. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. And if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Mayor Quimby? Ah, uh, this is a uh, good town. Uh, come here often. I like to drink in the, the uh, prostitutes. Sorry. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomob's Emporium. Uh, Pomob's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well-equipped and short of coin than the other way around. <laughs> you prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. <laughs> no, I bet not. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Farewell. All right. Watch me work. Let's all go. Love the background. Oh shit, blue smoke, man. I totally fucked up, guys. I totally fucked up. Blue smoke. 
I did not thank you for the five gifted subs that happened while I was I was too surprised by the presents that I received that I did not uh, thank you properly. Thank you, Blue Smoke, for the five gifted subs to uh, Charlie, aka Chuck, RLT917, Kim Wright1643, Passing the Time, and Sarah uh, Saruta Baruta. Hey, you Berserkers. It's okay. I love CD Ramathon. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you. Also, Marcus, thank you for seven months. And Chief Motherfucking Greenleaf with a tier two. 38 month re up. 38 months has raised my senses. Fire's hotter, weed is greener. Are you ready? Uh, as you read this, I'm playing with my wiener. <laughs> so you've been playing with your wiener for at least 17 minutes, I see. Uh, Shudder. Shudder, thank you for the prime sub. Hey, you'll proceed. All right. All right, so. You want to talk to me? Oh. 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 I, oh. Oh. I have to do at the bottom of their character. There we go. That's how I talk to him. Okay. I heard there are a few faces in town. Did you win the? Did you come with the caravan? Yes, I wanted to ask you some things about East Haven. East Haven? Lived here for quite a while, quite a span, I have. Things have been getting worse of late, though. Uh, do you mean the weather? Oh, I the weather's been going from bad to worse. Never seen it get so cold in the, early in the year. There's no sign of it letting up. With all this snow, the passes to the south are going to get snowed in early. Okay. Uh, worse how? Well, there's been sighting of some goblins and such in the past, if you can believe that. They usually hole up in the spine of the world and kill each other. Some fool claimed he even saw some orcs outside of town. But I'll wait until he sobers up before giving that any that tale any weight. I see. Yep. I heard some talk of goblins and orcs. From somebody. I, I can't remember who told me about that. Also, can I switch who's talking? Yes. Because I want blank blank daughter to be talking. Because she has the highest charisma. As you wish. Oh, do I? Oh, yeah. Ready for action. My pleasure. There we go. Ready. Okay. Now you just talk to everybody. Right up. Oh, can I move? Oh, I can move their portrait up top. Hold on. Hey, this should be fun for a while. Thanks, Bart. For a while. I'm listening. I'll get right on it. All right, there we go. Now she's talking to everybody. Good. <clears throat> Just want to ask you a question, ladies and Um, first I'm talking about goblins and orcs. Not only that, there's been sighting of a wolf on the outskirts of town, too. We've been keeping an eye out for it, but it seems to be coming just uh, coming around just for a whiff of fishbone carvings in Absel's workshop. Damn thing. Uh, damn thing must be starving to risk showing itself around humans, though. Okay. I heard, I've heard talk about goblins, orc, and even a wolf from somebody. Is that what you mean? Uh, you'll be getting another box or two in a couple months once I get my library in order. Finally, I'm able to properly sort everything. Over 1,100 games counting. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm excited to go through it, man. I really am. We're talking about goblins, orcs, and rules. Is that what you mean? Well, there's that and more. One of the boys was out uh, playing, and he swore that he found a, a soft footprint in the snow as large, as large as a man. Assuming he's not telling tales, that would mean giants. There hasn't been a giant since uh, seen in the past since, well, damn near since as long as I can remember. I've heard some rumors about creatures sighted. What have you heard? I'm wearing the goblin and orcs hat. So to... Just tell me all about the goblins and orcs and shit, okay? And I'm worried about the goblin and orc sightings are tied into the problems we've been having with the caravans of late. Some of them have gone missing, but mostly only the ones coming from the south. At first, we thought the snows must be burying them, but with goblinoids about, it's more likely they're the ones that buried the caravans. 
Between the weather troubles and the missed caravans, the people seem to be handling the troubles pretty well. Not all of them. Jonan, one of the steadiest fellows I know, has been going around with some tune he keeps humming and looks like he hasn't been getting much sleep. The troubles must be hitting him harder than we thought. He's humming a tune? Aye! Just keeps humming the damn thing over and over. Boy's gonna get an oar in his chops if he keeps it up. Any other monster sightings recently? Well, I don't know how much weight this carries, but one of the girls says she saw some blue-skinned figure down by the shore. Said, uh, she said whoever it was was singing some song, probably just her imaginings. Um, I've heard some rumors along those lines. Can you tell me anything about the townsfolk? Most of the folks around here are decent folk, but I'd stay away from old Jed. He lives in a little shack near the shore of the lake. Grisella the, at the winter's cradle cut him off. So that drunk fool will try and get you to spot him a tankard. Watch your purse, all right? Uh, do you know where I can find Hrothgar's house? Hrothgar's house is in the center of the northern part of town. It's the one with the gaps in the overhang. Hrothgar swears he's going to fix it, but I'll believe that when I see it. He's always running around trying to take care of everyone else. Why are you going to see him anyway? Planning to join his expedition? Expedition? Yeah, word is Hrothgar has been so rattled by that messenger from Koldahar collapsing dead at the front door of the Temple of Tempest that he wants to put together a band to go see what's going on. What would the messenger say? Damned if I know. Only ever, ever hard, ever, ever hard uh, over at the temple and Hrothgar would know for sure, I suppose. Still, if it's good enough or if it's enough to get those two out, uh, two of them riled up, it can't be good. Maybe I'll ask him about it. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the town? Well, since you're new in town, you probably want to get a room at the Snowdrift Inn. It's on the eastern side of the town. The innkeeper, Quimby, he's a right enough sort. He should have plenty of rooms available, but he's just got an elf guest from the... But he just got an elf guest from the south, so at least one room is taken. Tell me anything more? Well, there's the Temple of Tempest. Blue guy starts to the northwest, run by Everard. Uh, here tell Everard's the one who saw them, uh, who saw that messenger from Coldhar, if you can believe it. Fella died right on his doorstep. <clears throat> Any other place I should see? Might as well pay a visit to the, uh, Scrim Shader, Scrim Shander, Absol, down to the southwest. It's got some nice pieces of art if you like that sort of thing. Fuck is a Scrim Shander? A fishbone carver. Absol carves the bones of knucklehead trout into little sculptures and such. Fetch a nice price down south, they do. All right. I think we're good now. Farewell. All right, let's talk to you. Uh, I guess we're going to go all the way the fuck around. Okay. Hello there, dearie. Welcome to the Winter's Crater Tavern. My name is Grisella. I own and operate this fine establishment. Where can I get you? How about a drink? A drink, of course, Terry. After all, this is Tavern. I need a drink here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, well, you see, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. I've just run out of everything. I have nothing to offer you in a way of drink at, the, at this moment. You run out of every, everything? Well, the Tavern hasn't run completely dry. I do have some stock down in the cellar, but... I'm guessing there's rats you want me to take care of or something? Kobolds? Something small? A what? Oh, that's rather embarrassing. But I'm having somewhat of a past problem down there in the dirty old cellar. I'm afraid of like a, I'm afraid to go down there. I do so hate bugs. Oh, spiders. Just the thought of those nasty, creepy crawlies sends shivers down my spine. Um. Is there anything I can do to help? That's awfully sweet of you, dearie. But I don't expect you to go to any trouble on my account. I'm sure I'll think of something. Well, have no fear, madam. I shall see to it that the pest down below trouble you no further. Wonderful! The stairs to the cellar in the back room. Now you be careful down there, dearie, and don't let any of those little buggers creep back up here, all right? Okay. Anything else? Oh. I'm working on it. Okay, she doesn't want to say anything else. All right, so. This is. Oh, this is the formations that we take. Oh, wow, okay. That's pretty fucking interesting. Wow. Um.
Let me just, you know what? I, I think I probably need to just consult my, my quick, my quick guide here. See what everything is. All right, let's see. And just insult this quick guide. All right, you died on a quick on turn on dead bard song, thieving group attack cast spell. Okay. Pause. Oh, you can pause or unpause with, with space bar. That's nice. Tab is help. Resting is the night is the the closed eye. I think. Saving. Saving is fun. I like saving my game. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's in the maybe it's in the help novel, the instruction novel. That's only 130 pages. Let's see. Character generation. We've done that. Thief abilities. Okay, we've done that. Interface, right, right. Mouse buttons. Oh, game screen. Maps, journal, inventory, character record, major spell book, options. Okay. Select all. Oh, that's nice. Bottom menu buttons. Oh, right, okay. Okay. Enjoy enjoy the, the ambient noises. Does it have just like a keyboard layout, perhaps? Oh, they just have they have a lot of tables in the back. For like oh oh man! This this book is mo just like the player's handbook. This instruction book is mostly fucking spells. Okay. That makes more sense. I'm sorry. It should, I mean, shouldn't it say like what the keys do? Introduction, bulge, okay. Lexicon, interface, main interface, okay. Other functions and hotkeys, 27, okay. 27, here we go. Quick save. Hitting the Q key. Oh, nice. Easy peasy. Quick load. Control L. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's move on. What? <laughs> Someone upset with me. Someone might be upset with me in my party. Like, let's move on. Get out of here. <laughs> Is there just a regular save save? Nope. Okay. Yeah, you're taking too long. I know everybody's bored. Shut up. Shut up. Who's sleeping? Come on. Oh, 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 this is actually an NPC. Okay. Oh, the evil halfling, maybe, yeah. Strongkin, thank you for the prime sub. Hail, Berserker. <laughs> also, Raffle Pitchy, thank you for 41 months. You remember playing this game when it came out? You were 10? I was, uh... Well, if it came out in 2000, I was 20 when this game came out. Uh, Cap Sinbad, three months. World met. Why... You seem to me like a fresh new vein of ore, an untried and untested. I'm not a pirate, but I talk like one. I be Hildreth, should ye wish to know. Vein of ore, what do you mean? What I'm saying is that you took a little new, uh, you look a little new at this adventuring thing. No offense intended, we all have to start somewheres. If ye be looking for tips, I even have some news that might prove interesting to ye. Oh, I see, what news you have? I'm not all eyes and ears here. Mostly I've been 
keep it in my cups and keep to keep the chill away. But I have heard that the local sword named Hrothgar is putting together some sort of expedition. Sounds like it might be fun. I'll be going along myself. Oh, what uh, what do you know about it? The folks around here say that Hrothgar be a violent, uh, violent, valiant man, but not the type to go dashing off to his death. They say he be an excellent leader. We're headed up to the mountains to investigate some sort of disturbance up there. Ye'd be best, be, be ye'd best be talking to Hrothgar himself to hear the full story. Ah, that's a good idea. Well, if you're going, it must be a good trip. You seem like a seasoned adventurer. Be farewell for now. All right. So is there? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's all go here. We'll do a queue. What's up? Select all. Everybody, everybody, gonna head downstairs now. Seriously? <laughs> like, I'm the leader and I can't get out of my way. I'm the leader. I have to go down first. Wait a minute. Nope. Yes. Nope. What is it now? All of you. I'm here. It's an uninjured beetle. Are we just whiffing? Peasy. Easy peasy. Um No, I know, I know. I've 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 played Dungeons and Dragons longer than most of you have been a fucking live. You don't have to tell me about a, having your first level party. I was joking and lamenting. Wait. Oh, there we go. These rags hold numerous bottles of wine, other spirits, sick layer of dust, cobwebs, settle over everything. Alright. Same thing. Yep. Same thing. Okay. Uh, loot? Loot them? No loot? Okay, what's this? Crates of foodstuffs. Still crates. Wooden cast of strong smelling brews. Oh. As you wish. So I can just leave now? To go back up and tell her what happened? <laughs> I'll get right on it. Head over there. Blanky Blankerson. Uh, Frocky, thank you for the tier one. Hey, old Brucey. <laughs> Are you not getting rid of those nasty bugs, dearie? My customers are getting pretty thirsty. It is done. The bugs won't be troubling you anymore. Thank you, dearie. You're a lifesaver. Just do me one more favor. Keep this little bug problem between you and me. I don't want folks thinking that Griselda's place ain't clean. Run along now. The party has gained experience. The party has gained gold. Five. Love it. Perfect. What? What? All right, so. Oh, we only have a... St oh, I don't have any. Yes. Weapons, do I? Wait, whoops. Uh, um, hold on. Character, where does he see her inventory? Let me see her inventory. There we go. This thing. Aha! So. Oh, damn, dude. She doesn't even have a weapon she's proficient with. They don't give you a weapon you're proficient with. 
to start out? Lord have mercy. Wow. Oops. <laughs> Oops, all sticks. All right, just got to go buy shit from the... Oh, I, br I wonder... Oh, God, okay. I'll take care of it. Yes, can I help you with something? Why don't you ask you some things about this town? Oh, I've lived here quite a span. Uh, things are getting worse. Oh, same things. Yep, okay. Same town person, same same dialogue. All right. Let's... Let's leave? Leave. Where's the fucking front door? Is this it? This is it. Nope, that's not it. Ah, there it is. Right? Nope. Ah, here we go. Oh, nice! No one... <laughs> Fucking no one came with me. Ready. Let me get it. Guys. Oh, what guys, seriously, now? guys? Come on, guys. On. Let's go. Uh, everybody. Listening. Now, I want to do better. Uh, let's see. I want my, my smashers up front. There we go. Smashers up front, you in the back. There we go. And we want it to be like T posing. I'll get right on. Yeah, you too, dipshit. Get over there. There we go. All right, feeling good. Tab or alt to view objects you can interact with. Okay. So I can't interact with the sign. Okay, hold on. Alt? Hold on. I might not be on the wrong thing. Tab. Alt. Tab? Well, I can interact with the sign, right? So the sign should light up, yeah? Or not? Only containers and doors. Oh, okay. I think it just went pee. Let's poke him with a stick. Little boy, what are you doing? <coughs> is that a real blade? No, it's a stick. Oh, man, this town is full of idiots. Wonderful. Oh, it's Alt F4, just the guy, 868763. Eight, nice work. Thank you for outing yourself and making it easy for me to know who's who in the chat. Very, very kind of you to do that. Gonna bring this up before we come. Kind of... Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, you get two minutes in my chat for being unoriginal. Alt F4 is like the furthest thing from original. Just letting you know. Also, did someone shitbox Gothgoss? Someone needs to shitbox Gothgoss. They tied. They paid for it. Now, calling me a tubby bitch, while hurtful, is actually allowed in the channel, which. I don't know why I haven't changed that rule. I should probably change that rule. Because it's starting to, starting to really, uh, really affect me. Oh, can I move the map around with the arrow? Nope. Is It's only, only screen, like edge scrolling.
Porn! Home Abs Emporium. <laughs> Did anyone even go in? The fuck is even happening here? You've got to go all the way around. Why is there even a counter? You have to just go around it. All right. What's this? More barbarians come to my shop. No doubt with nothing to barter but more wolf pelts and polished stones. Very well. Let's get over with. What do you want? Um. Barbarians? I think you're mistaken, friend. Am I now? I don't think so. All of you northerners are the same to me. Smelly and barbaric. Northerners, I take it you're not from around here. <laughs> I'm Pomab as a as a Akazimher, royal diplomatic envoy of Kalimshan, and appointed overseer of the northern caravan routes. Oh, I see. Your appearance as a lowly shopkeeper is just a clever disguise. Throw off any would-be assassins. Am I right? Your poor attempt at sarcasm is an obvious sign of your lowly birth. I'll have you know that I'm third cousin to Pasha himself. Not to mention a royal courtier, courtier in uh, good standing. My apologies, I didn't mean to offend. Yes, well, uh, where I'm from, I would not woman normally be beaten for such insolence, but thankful I'm a merciful man. Now, what can I do for you? Other than die horribly, horrible slow... Oh, death. Okay. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Ha ha! Here we go. Yes. Got some helmets and does it have stats on it? No, it doesn't. Of course, it doesn't. That's why they give you the novel because I think it has equipment, right? Armor, there we go. Uh, oh, it just has. Oh, you can right click. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, thank you. This class of open face helmet. Mmm, open face helmet. Armor class bonus, none. Oh, protects against critical hits. Oh, okay. Oh, same thing? Nothing, huh? Okay. Aha, there we go. Now we now we're getting somewhere. So, we know oh, fucking everybody has different proficiencies. Oh, good lord, what, I, what have I done to myself? Uh, we need a halberd for you. Don't have a halberd, do you? You don't even have a halberd. Oh, there it is. Ah, gotcha. Okay. We need a halberd for you. What do you, Pablo Picasso? What do you, what are you even proficient in? Can I? Yeah. Let me see your fucking. Oh god, I have to. I have to memorize it. Yeah, I got six hundred thirty-five gold. Well, I know someone needs a dagger. Someone does a crossbow. Jesus, those are expensive. Uh, someone does short swords, right? There we go, short swords. Someone, oh, someone does a great sword. Remember that much. Um...
Get a sling. Oh, a throwing dagger. Oh, I know I need some armor as well. I'm no, I'm no fool. I just want to get the fucking weapon situated first. So if she's. What is this? Oh, by Ansel. So, okay, okay. <clears throat> One second here. Now, if everybody leaves, What's up? except her, like Fine by me. my palate, my Bart Simpson with the highest charisma. If she goes in by herself, I'm wondering like if I get a better deal. Cause she has 18 charisma, right? Uh, selection of polished vases and oil lamps scattered through. Okay, yeah. Various blah blah. blah. Yep. Okay. Fine by me. Okay. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, doesn't look like it. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep, you got, you got him. Yeah, probably Picasso here. Picasso, what can I do for it? Um, no, I need a character sheet. Nope. Nope. There it is. Efficiencies. God save. Oh, there it is. Crossbow, small swords. Okay. <clears throat> so this is where we whip it out and make sure we know like, okay. So we need crossbow and a small sword for you. Because we can't check on the fly, can we? Um, then you probably, what do you want? Bow and a great sword. All right. And you want, uh, missile and hammer. And you want bow and a dagger. You're good with just missile weapons. Okay. Perfect. Notebook cam. Yeah, no notebook cam. That's okay. Um, you like bows and halberds. Now we need to get like armor bonus or armor proficiency, right? Or not. I guess there's no armor proficiency, just what you can wear by your size or something. Yeah, I know it uses that go system. I know. To hit armor class zero. Thank you, Rook. Armor is class based. Okay, so it's not proficient. It's just been a while. Like, it's too e I've been playing five for a very long time for quite a few years now so it's 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 takes a second for shit to come back to me <clears throat> but i know like armor class starts at 10 if you're naked and then it goes down which is so ridiculous always was and armor class zero is like full-on plate like hard to hit shit armor Um, wait a minute, what? Or not? I guess not. What? Armor class zero?
Wait a minute, armor class minus four? Huh. No, I know that, but like you, in 2E, you start off. It's, oh, it's just a bonus. It's just the modifier. That's it. Okay. So it's not their actual armor class. Their armor class is 10 with these modifiers. Your actual AC, oh, is near HP. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Level one, finish, uh, thief experience, next level, proficiencies, number of attacks, lore, open locks, and suddenly blah, 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 pictures, saving throws. Hit points per level, and then resistances. That's my, oh, my armor class is six. Minus, oh, I see, that's my actual armor class. Okay, now I get it. And that's my HP. Okay, got it, got it. Because it's usually up here, if I remember correctly. Like, armor class and HP are usually close to each other, but they're usually up there, but whatever. All right, <clears throat> so 12 HP, six armor class, because minus four for dexterity, which is great. Armor class 10, six, 10, six. Yeah, anybody with an 18 dexterity is getting a minus four, is getting a nice, a nice bonus to their armor class. Okay. <clears throat> what is it now? <laughs> Shut sure. up, Bart. Okay. So, first thing we need is a bow and a halberd. I'm guessing a longbow? 95? What? For one longbow is 95? Jesus Christ. Three people need a longbow. Or three people need a bow. There's one bow. Halberd. Okay. A crossbow and a small sword. There we go. Crossbow and a small sword, which is short sword. Okay. Need another bow and a great sword. Oh, shit. You only have one of each of these? Ah, uh, only one of each, huh? All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, crossbow, small sword. Oh, you can double click? Nope. Okay. Double click to increase stack size. Nice work, guys. No, it's not registering two clicks. Like, I'm clicking twice as many times as you're hearing. Because it, reg it, like, click, register, and while that's happening, I click at least once or twice more. Okay. Bow halberd, crossbow, small sword, bow, great, great sword. We need a great sword. That is a great sword. Where's the big, there it is. Boom. We need a missile launcher and a hammer. Missile launcher? What? There we go. War hammer.
I don't a missile launcher. That's so weird. Why would you need a missile launcher? It's not even the right time for it. That's an anachronism. That's what they call an anachronism. Uh, Suba, thank you for the tier one sub and Dr. Navery with 10 months, but Suba, brand new. Hey, old Berzika. All right. Well, I mean, they don't, I don't see any missile launcher, so I guess we'll just get a sling. Um, hammer, we got one more bow and a dagger. I bet someone could use a composite longbow. There's a dagger. And another missile launcher. Well, all right. Okay, so we've got one bow. Oh, I oh fuck! I can only get. Hold on. I can't. I'm clicking as fast as I can, and I can't get more than one of these. Yeah, right click is, does this, goes into the info of it. Hold on, let me, let me, let me consult the fucking thing. If I want to buy stacks, hold on. Let me consult the table of contents here. Okay, man, the world, don't count, combat, morale. Spells. Outfitting yourself. There we go. 102. Let's see. There we go. Nope. It doesn't say if I can get more than one stack. Okay. See you in 30 minutes. Okay. Bye. I'll see you in 30 minutes. That was a really dumb thing to say. I guess, I, yeah, just buy and repeat, I suppose. What if I hold down? What the fuck? Oh, it cleared it cleared the list. What is this button even doing here? I'm guessing it's it's there in case they do more shit. Like you can talk about other things like spells and whatnot, but like god damn it. <laughs> okay <clears throat> so let's see arrows bye oh okay That's how you do it. Oh, okay. So I can just buy a whole bunch of, okay. So how many bows do we need? One, two, three bows.
Hold on. Before we do that, let's do it. Let's do a quick save here, just in case. So, the bows. They have to be big enough to use the bow, right? That's the problem. So the first, she's, she's human. So she can use a big bow. Next one is, I think that's a shorty. So I'm going to buy those two. So we got the two first two bows. We need a, a crossbow. We got that. So we need one more bow. And I think the other bow person is also a shorty. Bow and a dagger. For... Ah, uh, yes, for for that one. I'm here. Okay, so you, another sh another short bow. Composite bows will have a strength requirement. Yeah, I know. So do heavy crossbows and stuff like that. Well, it says it'll say it like that. Uh, not usable by druid and cleric, mage or thief. But they just have to be proficient in bow. So a short bow, everybody can use. So that's a, it's a, it's a safe, it's a safe bet, safe buy to buy uh, short bows. Minimum strength 12. Oh, so if I wasn't paying attention. No, the short bow doesn't have minimum strength. But if I wasn't paying attention, I could definitely have given a fighter proficiency in bows and not given them enough strength to use it, which is which would be fucking hilarious, man. Do all characters get melee and range weapons? Yeah. All of my characters have one melee and one range proficiency. So that's my bows. I got the sling. I need one more sling. One more thing of bolts or of bullets. There we go. Yep. One more, oh, one more thing of arrows. I need three stacks of arrows. One for each person that has, that needs it. Okay. Now, on to the melee weapons that we need. First, we need a halberd. We need a, a short sword. A great sword. Two handed, two handed sword is a great sword, right? Yep, great sword, good, okay. Okay. We need a hammer, a dagger, oh, dagger's down at the bottom. There, a dagger. That's it. Okay, doing pretty good. Now, <clears throat> we need some armor. So, for this, oh my god, armor, god, who can, mm, not usable by druid, mage, or thief. So, my paladin can use this armor, it's the best. Right? Oh, did it say armor class? Armor class 5. That's armor class 4, which is better. No. That's the armor class, no, it, yeah, 4 is better. 4 is better than 5. Okay. The lower, the better. So splint mail. Okay. Splint mail, 100 bucks. But that's for our fighter. Next one is our fighter thief combo. So we need probably, I'm guessing, studded leather. Yeah. Because I can't do chain mail. Yeah, not usable by a thief. Wait, what? What? What's... 
My, is it too heavy? Can I not carry it too heavy? Oh, I filled up my inventory space. Okay. Done for now. I'll be back. I'll be back, motherfucker. I'll be back. Okay. There we go. Um... Short bow. Where's that long? There's that long bow, right? Yeah, there we go. Long bow. Bingo. Quiver. Arrows. Yes. Now, the backpack is not for everybody. Of course it's not, because that would be fucking dumb. That'd be really dumb if you did that. So, can we give it to this guy? Did I do it? Hey, that worked. Okay, good. Very nice. Uh, and a small sword. Where's where's my shorty sword? Oh, yeah, that's my short one. Okay, good. Boing. And then bow and great sword. Bow. Great sword. Missile. And hammer. Bow and dagger. Where's the dag? Oh, did I not? Oh, I couldn't get the dag. Okay. So remind me, I gotta get the dag. Gotta get the dag. You get the other, you get this. Oh shit, who got the other? You get this. There you go. You get the bolts, crossbow bolts. You get arrows. Well, you get arrows. There. Okay. Short sword. Excellent. Bolt. Bolt, yep. Quiver. Uh. Wow. Pretty involved, man. Nope. There we go. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We might we might get to play some video games some sometime soon. There. All righty. Now these does it are they are they not worth anything? So we need a, a dagger and armor for oh shit. Did I get armor yet? I didn't get anybody's armor yet, did I? Nope, I didn't have enough room for any armor. So I'm not I got no armor yet. Fine by me. Hey, this is the way it works, man. This is why you do the shit before you even sit down at the fucking D&D &D tabletop. When you're doing the tabletop game, this you sort out your fucking equipment before you even do this because it's fucking tedious. Uh, JT Yankee, singer with 23 months, 80 or 80 months, excuse me, 80. Jesus Christ. Thanks for the great content. Well, thank you, JT. Much appreciated. And then Von Stinkle, one of the greatest names on Twitch. It's good to see you again. 
All right. I'd like to buy something. I'd like to buy. I'd like to buy. Oh. No, stop. Stop it. I would, no, stop. There. So, no. Okay. So, no selling of any of that shit. Okay. So, what? we go to my inventory. And we go. We threw it on the ground! Of course. Just shit him out right next to the guy. Oh, you don't want to buy him? Here you go. I'll just throw him away. Just go ahead and throw him away for me. All right, so Splint Mail definitely wants that. We need it studded. We're probably like just about everyone else, yeah? Because we got... The only one who can't use that is Mage. Druid Mage Thief. So a cleric can use this. Cleric can use that too. So we can get two of these. So that's two of those. And then three, three studdeds. Or one of those, I guess. And then there'll be 175 for a split male and three studdeds. Okay. And then that's it. Because the last one is a mage. You can't use anything. Oh, and one dagger. That's right. I forgot. I got to get a dagger. Thank you for the reminder. One dagger. Beautiful. All right, get the fuck out of here. Yes. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Where's my cleric? You're not my cleric. Oh wait, Yo, no, Hammer, Hammer, you're the cleric, right? Oh, it's, oh, it says right here, idiot, idiot, fighter thief. If the, the half of her that's a thief means she can't use the other shit, right? There we go. Why, why can't I switch to that? Nope. I want to make that your default weapon though. Well, fuck. Whatever. Whatever, fuck it. Oh, just switch their, switch their spots, I guess, probably. No? Good. Good. Everybody's got missiles or got their arrows and whatnots. All right. Everybody's got their armor on. Get your armor on. Put on your fucking clothes. Oh, what the fuck happened to your armor? Oh, I gave, I gave that one it. Oh, okay. There you go.
Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'll get right on it. I'll get right on it. You do that. Get right on it. All right, what else? They'll all have the same helmet. Hold on, who can wear helmet? Who can't wear helmets? Mage, bard, thief. So I, sh I could get th four helmets? So I've got a mage and a thief. Well, one of them, uh, one of them is a, a fighter slash thief. Does that mean they can or cannot use the, uh, oh, they can use it. Oh, that's probably why then. Yeah. And I fucked up and gave one of my fighters leather armor. That's all right. I don't care. Uh oh, who has a one-handed weapon here? I suppose I got some time to kill. Ah, f fucking hell. Okay. You have a one-handed weapon. So I can give you a shield too, right? You have a does a two-hander. Warhammer is that one-hander or two-hander? One hand, okay, so you can have a shield. I don't know if you even want a shield. So, Cleric and Pablo Picasso, he's a, he's a fighter thief. Oh, maybe I take that and give it to the fighter that's up front. Give that to the cleric. Oh, can I just double click it? You bet I can't. I cannot double click it. Sorry, my sound won't work on Game Pass Pier for any advice. After your draw frames, I really want to play it. I have no fucking idea, Marjo. No clue. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but I, I just don't know how. There you go. <laughs> Looks so fucking dumb, dude. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, so helm. You can have a helm. Probably not for you. So one more helm. And what, two shields? One more helm and two shields. Unless you can have one, maybe three shields? Just one shield? Okay. Just one shield. No, not you, idiot. Ready. I'll take care of it. Large shield. Uh, not usable by bard, druid, mage, or thief. So the large shield. Can be used by the fighter who has there we go. <clears throat> 
Fighter has a great sword, so the cleric is the only one that needs the the paladin. No, we've got the fighter who has a small sword, and the cleric has a hammer, both of which are one-handed weapons. So Oh, crossbow is two-handed. Oh, you have to drop the shield in order to use a crossbow. That that makes sense. So just one shield for the cleric. Okay. Should it be a large one, you think? There you go. And then, what do we got left? Oh, we can buy tons of these things. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. I'm listening. So now I gotta distribute this shit. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. Oh, one more helmet. I forgot the helmet. Of course. Oh, they ran out of the one GP helmet? I didn't know they could run out of shit. That's good enough. That's good enough. Well, I mean, why not? Why not just fill everybody up? You fill me up so I can have some arrows. Back to her, dummy. There you go. Put that. Put that on. Get that. Shove that up your crossbow. All right. Sling is uh, four and six. And helm goes to the fucking dwarf. Okay. There you go. Ha ha. Yeah, now you're looking good. Lots of missiles. There you go. You can what? You can combine ammo stacks to get eighty per stack. How? Why the hell are two thousand people here? Fuck you, Razzle. That's why. Go fuck yourself. No, it's because co-hosted me earlier. Um, Jamus, thank you for four months. Who can gifting a sub to Pepsi Max Payne, who now has seven months. Saito with thirty nine, and Chronicle with thirty one. Uh, all right. So, are we good? I'm gonna put you there. Okay, so we need one more stack of arrows, two more stacks of arrows, and then we're good. I think everybody has armor, helm, that needs it. Arm armor, helm, weapons. Maybe some, maybe some boots. <laughs> three stacks of arrows, baby. We're going three stack. We just don't want to, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I, I don't want to come back and do this again. If I can avoid it, I want, I will. Do we got any boots or anything to put on? No, that's it. Okay. That's all you got. 
Uh, there we go. Arrow for you, and arrow for you. Bloop. Bloop. Thankfully, we only ever have to do this once, right? <laughs> just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <clears throat> and guess what? Q for quick save. That makes sense. One man's orange. Thank you for the tier one sub. Hey, Berserker. Appreciate it. This is 80% of the game. That's why I should have never given anybody ranged weapons, right? What is it now? Let's go. Now that everybody has their fucking weapons out. Now. Why does everybody have their have ranged weapons out? Of course. Aha! Yes, can I help you with something? Oh, okay. I will take my leave. Farewell. Um What's what's this all about? The snow drift in! Well It's been a long day. Shall we rest? There we go. The rest of you, the rest of you got your ranged up. That's good. That's what I want. The guys up front, we want to have you have the, the melees. Yeah, when you put the ammo in the slots, they automatically changes to the, the bow. That makes sense. Who's this asshole? Okay. Oh, that's as far as I go. Okay. Sounds good. Well, she has amnesia. Do you want to, I mean, do you want to see her backstory? I'll, I'll show you her backstory. That's, I mean, I can do that. Where is it? Information? Where do, uh, biography. There it is. This chick has amnesia. So nothing here, really. I guess I'll just rap a little while. i rap a little. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of it. You get it. I'm here. So that's why she's blank blank's daughter because she has no memory. She's completely uh, amnesiatic. Well, in fact, you come in caravan. Oh. So everybody is basically saying the same shit, which is nice. So I don't have to talk to each and every villager. Who, whose fucking house is this? Oh, is there a quest that I'm guessing that's that's no, that's mage book. Free scrolls. Options. Character arbitration. Journal. There it is. All right. Ah, I'm still on the prologue. Couple of doors west of the tavern. Oh, west of the tavern. Okay. So we gotta go up here. Son of a bitch. Is this your house? That's I think that's might be only one door west. Oh, you have to open the door first before you go in. Not just clicking on the door isn't enough. First you open it, then you can go in. Right up. There's Rothgar. Let's talk to Rothgar. Well met, friend. Well met. Welcome to my home. Make yourselves comfortable. But try not to break anything. No Many problem. These curiosities that you see lying about have sentimental value. 
Where'd you get all this stuff? Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think that her Rothgar's complete? Looking at him, wouldn't you think? Sure. He has everything. Where'd you get all this stuff? Oh, they're all remembrances of my adventuring days. Little trinkets and the like that I picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers from my days of fortune and glory. Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Adventuring days? So you retired then? Uh, Semi-retired, actually. This region is still untamed and fraught with many dangers. Fart? I've had plenty of fraught. opportunities oh, in the last few years to take up my sword and shield and do battle with those who threaten the safety of East Haven and its neighbors. Thanks, Bill. In fact, I am planning such an expedition right now. That is what I wanted to speak to you about. What sort of expedition? We've received word from Kaldahar, our neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby in the spine of the World Mountains. Oh, sorry. I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Perhaps you'd like to join us. What say you? Uh... What sort of evil forces are we talking about? I don't really know. The messenger was oh, too specific. I so suppose if you want more details, could be goblins could or a dragon. Everard over at the temple, but time's a wasting. Oh, let's talk to Everard. We need to get this expedition moving before the snows seal off the pass to Kaldahar. So what's it going to be? Are you in or out? Uh, yeah, Counterson. Excellent. Glad to have you on board. I plan to assemble the rest of the expedition and set out for Kaldahar within a few days. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we depart sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. What sort of matters perhaps we can help? Actually, now that I think about it, maybe you can help. Pomar, the local shopkeeper, has recently expressed concern over the rapidly thinning stock of his store. He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Caer Dineval is long overdue, and that if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Now, normally I take Pomhop's whining with a grain of salt, but with heavy snows on the way, it would be best to make sure that caravan makes it through. Ah! Yes! So what do you want me to do? I want you to find that caravan. Ah! Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinnershire. South Bridge West? East Haven and Caer Dineval. Care, Caravans care, always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. Wait, slow down. Does anyone have parchment? I can't read or write. Did, some, did someone write that down? Once you find it, see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. Okay. Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Kaldahar Pass while the weather is favorable. Good luck. Safe journey. Thank you. I will save it, Bill. Bill, me. Uh, hold on. Alt. Alt or tab. Tab. So someone said it, tab or alt will highlight. St like. Stuff. But. It doesn't look like that's, that's going to happen. Is it control? It's not control. Try the lantern, bottom right. Oh, party AI off. Exhausting. Exhausting. Something tells me Z. Well. Of course. Whose house is this? What? <laughs> Back up! You can't! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this fucking shit show.
Can't even get through the fucking door. So I'm guessing if I can't like when I mouse over something, I can't. I, it would tell me if I could do something. Sure. Let's try the pyramid. Pyramid structure. Knock, knock. I'll get right on it. Just take your time. Head all the way around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I haven't seen him around Oh, nothing. Yeah. Neither of them, neither the alt. The highlight is 100% not in this game. Okay. Of course. Yes, this is the base game, not the enhanced edition or anything like that. So yeah, the highlight feature must not be in this game. And whoever told me it was, I'm going to have some fucking words with them. God damn it! Open the door and go in. Jesus Christ. Of course. Hmm. Rothgar mentioned there were strangers in town. What is it you want? I love your voice. I'm blank blank daughter. Are you the high priest of this temple? Yes, I am Everard. Everard of Tempus, battle priest of the Lord of Battles. Wow. What brings you here? Your name does. That's sexy. All right. I come to show respect to your god and his worst person, Everard. Still, there is not much battle to be had here in East Hill. Okay, carry the scars of war. I guess we'll start at the top. Still, there's not much battle to be had here in East Haven, I hope. War is but one of Tempus's aspects. Warriors, true warriors, worship him as well. You carry the scars of war? Were you wounded in battle? These eyes have seen battle, yes. These and my eyes skin bears the mark of swords battle. and axes. That was long ago. Now my place is here. These eyes have seen a lot of battle, but that was long ago, and now my place is here. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna fit so well. Uh, why would you leave the battle behind? Because there are many ways one may serve one's god. I am of the order of the broken blade. My duty is to watch this place. Oh, come on, man. It's not to please that booty. Are you sure you want to check that again? You want to try that one more time? The order of the broken blade. Wait. Isn't that what it was in Skyrim? The Broken Blades or something? Uh, anyway, uh, Chemical Lion, if I didn't say thank you for the 34. Thank you for the 34. It was just the blades? Okay. All right, or the Broken Blade. The guard area is uh, sacred to Tempest, correct? Yes, we are, were, warriors. Wounded in battle, our injuries now keep us far from the front lines. Still, we are fit to guard holy sites to our lord. Oh, they're kind of like the POW MIA group, right? Like the, you know, the group of vets. Like, we're the broken blades. We were wounded in battle. I got a, I got a purple dragon head medal for my service. Uh, let's see. This is a holy site? It is sacred to Tempus, yes. It marks the field where the barbarian Jared gave up his life ages ago. He lies encased in stone beneath this temple. Oh, he went to Jared. All right. 
What happened? Jared was a shaman who lived long ago. He brought unity to the northern tribes and led them to victory against the army of Arakan. Ah. At the cost of his life. He was the Nerevar, Moon and Star. How'd he die? Once Arakan saw his army routed by Jared and the northern tribes, he sought to bring the Hells to his aid. Arakan opened a gate to the lower plains. He brought demons to the battlefield? The northern tribes would have been destroyed! I do not believe that. Jared did. It is said that Tempest himself appeared to Jared upon the battlefield, and Jared took that as a sign. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I would too. What I mean, if you don't take that as a sign? Like, what else are you gonna take as a sign? Like, the god appeared before him, so he took that as a sign. Oh, we got a real fucking genius here, do we? All right, a sign to do what? Jared believed Tempest was calling him to sacrifice himself for his people to ensure victory. And so he cast his body into the portal, his blood fusing it to stone. It lies entombed beneath the temple to this day. Ah, oh, okay. So if I did like a stone to flesh spell, he'd be, he'd be all good? Alright. Help is, is press tab. Or hold the pointer over an object for several seconds. For several moments, bring up a tooltip. It says press tab. Oh, well, I gotta. I guess I gotta wait. Oh, you can configure how quickly tooltips appear on the option screen. Oh my god, I can? Oh wow, that's great. Um, you don't sound like you agree with Jared's choice. Jared had no need to sacrifice himself. Tempest's appearance was a test of faith, proof Jared's people had already won the field that day. Jared failed his god and died a coward's death. Ah! Uh, but Tempest is known to appear to warriors who can dictate the outcome of, the, of a battle. So perhaps Jared death, Jared's death was not in V. Oh, I guess he cuts me off? One dies for Tempest with a blade in one's hand, not by martyring oneself within the embrace of infernal magics. Jared's duty was to stand with his comrades, not cast himself to his death when the field was already theirs. His sacrifice may have prevented other deaths, Everard. Sacrifice? Let me say this of sacrifice, young one. Then we shall speak of this no more. Sacrifice is a death that has meaning. When it is in vain, it is not sacrifice. It is a waste. That is the lesson of Jared Stone. Ah! Stone is buried beneath the temple? Aye. A great stone disc that holds Jared's corpse for eternity. And so I watch and guard it in Tempest's name. Ah, uh, he's the one who was encased in carbonite. Had some other questions. You are free to ask, Traveler. Thank you. I promise no answers. Uh, I wish to hear the tale of Jared Stone. No, I don't. No, I already did that. Do you know anything about the expedition? I have heard of it, yes. A messenger from Kaldahar visited the temple not long ago, and it has spurred Rothgar to see what is happening in the north. A messenger? Yes. A man from Kaldahar found his way to our door, and he was dead by morning. He claimed he was a messenger from the Archdruid of Kaldahar. What do you want? The man spoke of disturbances in Kaldahar. His wounds prevented me from making any sense of his words. Perhaps Rothgar understood more than I, for he's preparing an expedition. Are you going? No, for my place is here. Were I invited, I would still not go. My injuries would only slow the expedition. Ah. You are free to ask, Traveler. I promise no answers. Okay. What's that glyph-covered cover door beneath the statue? The door leads beneath the temple to the site of Jared's stone. Ah! It was sealed with glyphs of Tempest to prevent entry long ago. Okay. You are free to ask, Traveler. Okay. I promise no answers. One of you might pay our respects to the temple and perhaps receive some healing. Oh, 
Okay, so he can heal. Okay, all right. What's this? Oh, he's got potions and shit. And oh, he can remove my curses. He can resurrect. That sounds... Actually, you know what? <laughs> that sounds about right. Like, GP value of resurrection. That's... I think it's pretty, pretty well on the money right there. Okay, so... Tab key. All right, hold on a second. Options, options. Is it the options? Nope. That's them. Oh shit. Oh shit! I didn't know I could do that. Software mirror BLT. I'd love a BLT. Can I get a BLT? I don't, what? Enable the option of graphic novel, okay. Enable the option of video card displays color green and red, okay. Does not draw mirror images correctly, okay. I could definitely go with a little bit of contrast up. Did that do anything? You guys see? Is it is it better? Are the graphics better now? <laughs> Gameplay, there we go. Tool tip delay. Oh my god. None. Low, real low, right? The slide that controls difficulty level to be used in combat. The middle setting is true AD&D. If you want to play the game using the true AD&D rules, then don't touch this slider. If you move the slider to an easier setting, then you will receive proportionally less experience points. The reverse does not apply when you uh, use a harder setting. Okay. Oh, max hit points. Dither? I love it. When you like... Wait, no, I'm thinking of something else. There, look at that. Look at how fast that is now. Holy shit, that's good. Um, TT McPeepee, -pee, thank you for the 81 months. Welcome back. All right, does this look better? It looks a little better, doesn't it? With a 32 uh, color thingy selected. Your journey has brought you to this temple again. What is it you want? You are free to ask, traveler. I promise no answers. Okay. <clears throat> now. Question. Large shield, similar to description upon it says, the shield of Ahonin. A veteran of many battles was used against something that lacked Dinashar history, history, blah, blah. Long slender lance, astonishing quality. Some the golden lance of Kedwer held in his fields of dead alongside of history, more history. Battered steel helmet with the helm of green axe and the fate of stuff and the more history, March of Ton. Glyph ward a door. I don't appear to be a way to open it. How do I get in there, bud? 
Shield of Megadeth. Oh wait, you're not a part of us. Initiative Tempest. Hello, my name is Akalia. I am an initiate here at the Temple of Tempest. I help Everard maintain the temple and uh, temple armory and perform rituals. Well met. Or well met. I'm blank blank daughter. You're an initiate in temper in temper and faith, huh? Do you have any tempura here? <laughs> like fresh tempura. This would be the place to get it. I didn't realize the Lord of Battles was so popular up here. Tempest is revered a great deal by the barbarian tribes up here. They call him Tempos. I don't understand their language. We immigrants see a lot of conflict and violence in these parts, and people want to make sense out of it all. Barbarian tribes, how do they feel about the ten towns being here? Ten towns being here. It changes from season to season, from year to year, like all things. They're mistrustful of, of us immigrants and often view settlements here as a intrusion on their land. Sometimes they trade with us, sometimes they war with us. Sounds like a love-hate relationship. At least they don't try to kill you all the time. Tempura is a combat phase, Zeke. The herons leave their foes lightly battered. Oh, that's a great one, Nova Odin. That's a great one. Pluck. Fuck Plossibo. Who's Plossibo? You said immigrants. Where are you from? I'm originally from Neverwinter. I came here to aid Battle Lord Everend when the former war priest Renfield was Renfeld was killed in a battle against the barbarians near Bryn Shander. Ouch, I guess those barbarians really don't like immigrants too much. It, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's actually part of the simple truth the temperance believe. Conflict is all around us. Every man, woman, and uh, a man and woman has something that he or she believes in. <laughs> will die for. Tempest tells us that we should live for something of importance. If we kill, if we die, we're the same. We preach that conflict and war are vital to mankind's existence. I agree. Even if we don't like the fact that it's happening, conflict is pretty, pretty inevitable in life. Exactly. That's why the East Haven practices of temperance faith and perform the rituals of the Lord of the Battles. Or rituals. We celebrate the Feast of the Moon in remembrance of the Battle Dead. We also sing the Song of the Sword at least once once a ten day. Because of the church's close proximity to the site of so many great battles, our congregation also has local celebrations to remember all of the mighty conflicts that have ranged across Icewind Dale. The most important daily ceremonies are the Feast of Heroes uh, at High Sun and the Song of the, for the Fallen at Sunset. All right, hold on. That's a lot of information. Let me just save it real quick. And then can I just... There, I guess that's uh, that's a pause. Maybe pause, pause enough. I guess. 